The title appears over a wide view of paleontology intern Ben Kligman in his lab at Petrified Forest. Ben speaks. My research is focused on the Chinle Formation and it's the major rock formation exposed at Petrified Forest National Park. Layers of tan and red rock are visible in low hills. It's late Triassic in age and it's dated to between 225 and around 205 million years old. Ben breaking rocks. In this 25 million year time frame, I'm sampling vertebrate communities at around 2 million year intervals. Cleaning a microscope and setting up lab equipment. And when I look at all those together, it gives me a high resolution picture of how change is occurring over long periods of geologic time. Animation shows layers of rock stacking up. Back in the lab, Ben stacks a series of 10 inch round screens. I'm using a technique called screen washing and basically what you're doing is processing rocks from the field through a series of screens that screens out all of the fossil bone that was inside the rock and then you're left with just concentrated fossil bone to work with. What I've been doing is using this technique in time periods in the Chinle that it's never been used before. Ben plots field locations on a wall chart, then uses a microscope. And because of that, it's been resulting in a lot of new species and increased diversity of all of the animals that we know from the Chinle. Ben walks along desert rock formations. We find in the field rocks that were deposited in a shallow lake or the deep part of a stream channel. He stops and begins clearing away loose rocks. Features like lakes and stream channels accumulate bone from the surrounding environment after animals die. He breaks off chunks of rock from a lower layer. That indicates to us that this might be rock that's worth processing. He examines his sample with a small lens and collects more rock. Back at the lab, he puts the rocks in a plastic basin. So we find fossiliferous layers in the field and we'll take out blocks of rock, usually three or four hundred pounds of rock from each site. He adds water to the basin. The rock basically melts down in water. The now mushy rocks are fed through small screens. And the matrix, which is usually sand or siltstone, will melt away from around the, any objects that are in the rock, like pebbles or bone. This differentially sorts all of the bone and makes it easier to look at it under the microscope because all of the grains are of the same size. Pebbles and fossils seen through Ben's microscope. Generally what I'm seeing, because these bones were deposited in aquatic situations, are fish scales. And another thing that's very common are teeth because they're coated in enamel and they're very resistant to decay. What I'm very focused on finding are upper and lower jaws from reptiles because the tooth structure and jaw structure is unique to the group of animals that the jaw was produced by and jaws can tell you a lot about feeding habits and so it can tell you what it was doing in the ecosystem. Scientific drawings of lizard-like skeletons. One group of animals that I've been collecting a lot of material from are rhynchocephalians. Rhynchocephalians uh, are very closely related to lizards and diverged from lizards evolutionarily around 250 million years ago. They look a lot like what a lizard looks like today. A lizard looking animal about a foot long. There's one living representative of this group left. It's the Tuatara from New Zealand. And it's survived into the present day because it's been isolated on New Zealand and islands off the New Zealand coast. The data that I've collected so far in this project Samples of Ben's research papers is giving good evidence that there was a major evolutionary change occurring in most vertebrate groups present in the Chinle Formation at around 215 million years ago. Ben speaks on camera again. The next step I'd like to take my research is looking at whether or not 
major earth system changes such as climate change, plate tectonic movement, or volcanism are acting as drivers for the observed evolutionary change. The credits are over another shot of the Tuatara. <laughs>